everyone. So I'm filming this video from my car because I feel like, I don't know, the more serious topics, I feel just the most comfortable filming in my car just because I'm completely alone and uh, no one has to really hear me and my thoughts on certain things. So I like to film more serious videos in my car and that's where we're at right now. So I debated on whether or not I should film this video or not, but I promised you guys on my community post that I would be putting this video up on Sunday. I can really just help people with this video. I'm really gonna try to make this a fundraiser if I figure that out. I, I think I should be able to figure that out. I've never uploaded a video as a fundraiser before, but this is how I want this video to be posted. I don't want this to be monetized. I don't want this to be monetized not only for myself, but uh, I don't think YouTube is gonna let me monetize this because I'm talking about a really, really, really dark topic. So I don't think YouTube is gonna let me monetize this first of all and I don't wanna be keeping money for myself that I make from this video, you know? So I'm gonna try to do this one as a fundraiser. If not, I am gonna be donating a portion of my YouTube earnings from this month toward an indigenous charity. I'm gonna try to figure out which one. There's one in my town that actually helps women in need, indigenous women in need, so I might be donating to that charity. I'm not 100% sure just yet, but I'm gonna figure that out by Sunday, hopefully. And so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about residential schools and how basically 215 children were found buried under a residential school near Kamloops, BC, not even a week ago, I don't think. As I mentioned on my community post, with the type of content that I post on my channel, I do MMIW cases here on YouTube. There's gonna be two cases in particular that I'm gonna be covering in the near future that their parents or grandparents were victims of the residential school system. So I feel like I can refer back to this video and hopefully, fingers crossed, this turns into a fundraiser and I can um, help people out. I can refer them back to watching this video. So if you guys are unfamiliar with residential schools, if you're not from Canada, then you probably don't know what residential schools are. Basically, in the late 1800s, the government of Canada passed something called the Indian Act. So in the early 1900s, the government of Canada started something called the residential school system, which was basically a boarding school for indigenous children and they were basically forced out of their homes from the Canadian government and the RCMP to attend these schools. In these schools they were tortured, they were abused, they were stripped of their culture, they were stripped of their names and given numbers. They basically, they basically did the worst things to these children and I honestly didn't even want to film this video today because I just get so emotional every time I have to talk about this. Every time I have to think about it, I learned about residential schools back when I was 12 years old. I think it was part of the curriculum in school to learn about the residential school system as well as the Holocaust and all of that stuff. Uh, it was part of Canadian history and I know that the government of Alberta right now is trying to take the residential school portion out of the current curriculum because they don't want our future kids to be learning about that but it is a part of Canadian history that existed it's a very dark part of Canadian history that existed I feel like children in the future and just everyone in general just needs to know about this because it's been something that the government has tried to cover up it's been something that the Catholic Church has tried to cover up and it should be put to light. We should be honoring these children's lives that have been lost. We should be helping the indigenous community recover from this and it shouldn't just be like, it shouldn't just be about money. It shouldn't just be compensated, you know, because no amount of money can take these memories away from these people. No amount of money can take the memory of being abused being sexually abused, being raped. It can't take all of those horrible things out of this community. It just can't. So what was I getting into? I was telling you guys what residential schools were and then I got sidetracked. Okay, so residential schools were something that 
started in the early 1900s and the last residential school in Canada closed in 1996. So they were around for a really long time. And as I mentioned, the government and the RCMP forcefully took children off of the reservations, away from their parents, putting them into these boarding schools that were run by Catholic nuns and priests. And they treated these kids like no kids, no adults, no one, no human being should be subjected to that kind of abuse. Like I said, it was something that was a very dark part of Canadian history that people have tried to cover up, that the Catholic Church has tried to deny that this ever happened, but I'm Catholic myself. I'm not a religious one because I've learned things about my religion that I don't like. And this is one of those things, this cover up. This really did happen. These people are not lying about what happened to them as kids. And the fact that people are trying to defend these people because they're religious, they're trying to defend these nuns, these priests that did horrible things to these children because it didn't happen according to them, because they were religious. <sighs> That's, that's what really angers me about my religion and that's kind of why in these past 10 years I've stayed away from it, kind of. Uh, not that I don't believe in God or anything like that because I do 100% believe in God, but the religion that I'm a part of and the cover up sexual abuse, the kids that have been abused by priests, that I don't agree with. I'm lucky. I'm lucky that I didn't get subjected to that as a child. So now that you guys know kind of like the history of residential schools and what took place in them, I'm not going to go into detail because this is not my story. I'm not indigenous, but I do 100% respect indigenous people and it saddens me that society doesn't feel the same way as me. There are so many MMIW cases that don't get reported on, that don't get justice, that the police just kind of forget about. But the reason why I cover these MMIW cases on my channel is because it doesn't get televised. It doesn't get justice. These cases remain unsolved. There's so many indigenous women that are missing in Canada right now. The numbers are not being fully reported on or the government is not being fully transparent on how many exactly, how many have been missing and how many have been murdered. So yeah, that's why I started my MMIW cases on my channel. That's why I, tr I started my true crime cases on my channel because I want to get these women's stories out there. And as a society, I think we need to respect First Nations people, indigenous people, way more than they get right now. What Canada, what my country has put them through is mind blowing. Like I don't have words for it. I can't explain it to you, but what my country has done to this race is crazy it's crazy and yes there has been apologies from the government the prime minister has apologized for this uh justin trudeau stephen harper they've compensated some not all but some victims from residential schools but it's just not enough we're not giving indigenous people enough support with what they've been through they're still healing from residential schools still to this day even though they've been closed for almost 30 years, the after effects are still happening right now. Drug abuse and addiction are just part of it because they've struggled so much. I don't even know what else to say. Again, this isn't my story to tell and I want to make this as respectful as possible. So I wanted to shout out some indigenous owned brands, indigenous owned businesses 
all of that stuff. I will shout them out in the description box below. There's going to be some resources for you guys to read up on as well as links for you guys to help, help donate to different charities and all of that good stuff. I will link all of that in the description box below. Thank you to one of my friends that commented on the community post that I posted earlier on this week saying that I needed to add, you know, clickable links and stuff to this video because I definitely want to do that. I only touched the surface on this video as far as residential schools go. There's so much more to learn, especially if you're not from Canada and Canadian history was not part of your curriculum. You probably had no idea what a residential school even was. So I will leave you guys some reading links down below as well as, like I said, I want to support Indigenous owned businesses. There's some really, really great ones that are local to me in Calgary, local to me in Alberta. There's some awesome ones. There's even a makeup brand that I really want to buy from called Cheekbone Beauty, which is also Indigenous owned. All of the makeup items are named after influential Indigenous women, so I really, really want to purchase from this brand i will leave you guys their link down below as well as you know like some charities you can support and all of that good stuff i really hope that you guys learned something and you took something from this video so as far as my mmiw cases i think my next one is going to be on alberta william which is a really really tough case to cover in my opinion just because i think it's a really tough case to cover it has a lot of people involved in that one so i'm thinking that that's the one i'm going to be covering next so make sure you watch out for that video and yeah I really hope you guys learned something from this video and I will see you guys soon in my next one don't forget to hit the subscribe button below I upload three times a week Sunday Wednesday and Friday and please 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 before you leave this video go into this description box below and look at ways you can help because this this is very heartbreaking and I'm sure this is just the tip of the iceberg there's gonna be more children that are going to be found in other residential schools it's just a matter of time i hope you guys stay safe stay happy and i will see you guys in my next video bye